transition, like, why does everybody try to be natural now? Like, you can kind of see this trend of everybody trying to go natural and be natural. Like, wh why does that come about? What do you think? I think, um, holistically, it's like a sort of, like, a wake up. I feel like black people as a whole started to wake up, started to realize that, hey, we don't need to try to be like these white people. We, we don't need to try to straighten our hair or flat iron it or, or damage what God has given us naturally to appease a people that oppress us and don't care about us anyway. Because you notice, you know, white people, they love everything about black culture but black people. So it's like, why are we trying so hard to fit into them when they're trying to be us? So why don't we just be us? So I feel like when people started waking up and started realizing, you know what, let me stop frying my hair. Let me just try to see, you know, what my hair can do. And then they started loving it. And then when other people started seeing, oh, this girl, you know, she transitioned and she stopped doing the perms and she stopped straining her hair and look at it. It's growing, it's flourishing, and she's just living her best life. So let me try to do that too. And so everybody just kind of like piggybacked off of that. Honestly, I don't know who and what started it, but I really feel like a female just got tired of weave and perms and just wanted to just rock her rear hair. And basically when she started that, that's when other women realized like, you know what? I am beautiful with or without weave. Honestly, everything is like modern day time to me. Like we just bring everything back. Cause like back in the nineties and the eighties, like black women were doing that. They was doing like the big pub and their hair just so big and broad. But um, I don't know, you know, weave just came about and we just felt like that was the go-to thing to do. But I wanted to go natural because I always liked the way natural curly hair looked. I never really cared for straight hair unless it was like a sew-in, but for like just natural hair, I like the way natural curls look. So I think the transition happened because a lot of people started to appreciate their natural hair more and it started a whole like little movement about people wearing their natural hair and being bold and beautiful with their natural hair. Cause there's a lot of influencers who are natural and people just follow what people do on the internet. But I mean, they do like, just like this whole lace front thing, like everybody's trying to get their lace front laid, but they want their natural hair to be like, to their butt. And then when I started to go natural, I started noticing, oh, my hair's passing this length. Oh, it's getting a little past here. Okay, well, maybe we're doing something. Maybe we're getting on to something. So I feel like a lot of women went through that same experience, and that's what allowed this whole natural thing to kind of blow up. Did you do the big chop? I didn't. I was scared. I did not do the big chop because I was like, okay, my curls are tight. So I didn't have like loose curls. So by me being, my curls being tight, my shrinkage is real. So I was like, no, I'm not doing no big chop. And ever since then, um, anytime it was a church event or like a party, my mom would always want to perm my hair. And once I got to the age of doing my own hair, I just cut it out myself and I, I didn't even care what I looked like because I felt like for the last 10 years of my life I wasn't the girl I used to wake up to be. Honestly it didn't really phase me because I personally I'm not a big like I'm not big on length I'm big on healthy hair so for me I'm quick to like oh yeah cut it all off if, if my ends are bad and it needs to be cut cut it because it's just hair it's gonna grow back and when it grows back, it's gonna be better and more healthy. So I'm big on like, you know, healthy hair. So when I went through my transition, I cut it off and I got braids. And then like once it grew out a little more, I wore it for a minute and you know, so I would do protective styles to like help it grow or, you know, but I didn't really care about the length. The length didn't bother me. It was just, my hair was like curly, then straight. And I was just like, that looks ghetto. <laughs> so I cut it off. And then I ended up learning how to do stuff with it to make myself feel like, oh, I'm still cute. So I ended up doing a shortcut, like an actual, like short shortcut. And I would just like flat iron it, not realizing that was making my hair unhealthy. And I had to retransition, but it's all about how you make yourself feel with your natural hair. However you feel about how you're styling it, that's the most important thing. Um, I did sort of a mini big chop is what you would call it, where you don't completely cut off the hair. You know, I didn't go through the bald fade phase, but I did cut my hair um, a little like a bob sort of um, when I was going through transitioning when I had fried my hair from dyeing it red. I cut all my hair off freshman year at State. I look crazy, I hated it, but I mean, it needed to be done. I feel like it played a big role in my hair looking the way it looks now, opposed to 
how it looked when I was trying to go natural and still save like the chemically damaged hair that I had on my head. Like once I pressed my hair and it was fried for the last time, I was like, I just had to cut it all off. And then, I mean, you see how it look now. It grows back, so I mean, it's just hair, so. And by the time I was 12, it became my decision. I was like, mom, I'm tired of perms because my hair was coming out. It was damaged a lot. It burned. I did, I like my whole entire that. life. <laughs> um, my mama always primed my hair from, probably from the time I'm maybe like, maybe eight to the point where she was like, okay, this is too thick and I can't do anything with it. So she felt that the best route was to give me a relaxer. But with a perm, I think I went to this party like in the seventh grade. I just got my hair done. All my hair was like in big curls, I had bangs, everything. I walked out of the party, my hair was bone straight. Like it wasn't poofy, it wasn't nothing, but it was like bone straight. It still looked good. Like I could sweat my hair out and it still looked nice. So one day I was just looking at myself in the mirror when my hair was natural and I just took the scissors and I just cut straight down, not realizing that that's not the same. You can't cut straight down. It doesn't make it the same angle. So when I was like six years old, I used to always have like a puff on my hair and then I was in a wedding for the very first time. I was a flower girl. My mom friend was like, oh, she needs to get her hair straight. So, you know, a couple years ago, that's when everybody had to straighten comb. So she hot combed my hair, but the next day it poofed up. So basically I had a fro for a wedding. <laughs> I was just tired of it. So I was like, mom, I'm tired of perm. She was like, okay, well, you don't gotta get perm some more. Okay, cool. So the transition process, it was long, but it was definitely worth it because my hair is very healthy now. I just love it. The reason why I transitioned, because it was like, my last relaxer, my hair was like entirely thin. It wasn't like, I guess that was pulling out my hair in a, in a such, but it wasn't like, my hair wasn't actually like falling out from the relaxer. It was just becoming like really thin. Because you see how thick my hair is now? So just imagine like, it was like see-through thin. I, lo I loved having a perm when I had a perm. My hair lasts so long. Honestly, I never needed a perm because my hair was nappy and it couldn't get straight. I wore... I got perms so my hair would last longer. Cause now if I was to wear it straight, it probably lasts like a couple of days. And then like, if the weather switches up, my hair is gonna switch up. So now I had like a patch of hair on the side that was just literally just sticking out. And then my hair after that, up until now, like this year, it's been uneven. Like, and I would never, I would always try to finesse my hair and wear certain styles where people, other people couldn't tell that my hair was uneven on both sides and the front was longer and the back and it was just all over the place, like it was a mess. And she put a kitty perm in my hair to make it straight. So my hair can look like, you know, other girls, cause her wedding was very diverse. So in a sense to look like white girls. Ooh, I had like curly hair at the top and then I had like relaxed hair at the bottom. I was like, I don't care. Like I'm not cutting this off. But. Once I transitioned, I seen my hair for like the first time where I could really like see my hair and how it curled and I, I was like, well, this isn't really that bad. I mean, I didn't realize how good of a hair texture I had until I went natural. So, I mean, I'm grateful for the, the natural look. So anytime that my hair would be out, it would be looked at as, you know, undone, unkept, poofy, you know, just, wild they would always use these type of adjectives to describe just my natural curls and um, that forced me to be like okay well I gotta make sure my hair's pressed every good day I go to school because I don't want to be embarrassed by this you know big fro and I cried I mean I just felt like I wasn't myself because I had to get a perm for her to equally say I'm cute and you know my mom was like oh that's not how it is you know she just wants you to be a certain way in her wedding and I was like, if that's the case, then let me have my fro. Which at some point in time you had like another texture? Yeah. Oh girl, now, okay, honey. <laughs> if I could start over, I would. I don't know, I don't like the fact that my hair is just so tight. I wish that it would be like, you know, more longer and then my length. And then I just feel like it's only so many styles that I can do. But it's mainly probably because I don't really know many different styles to do. Cause like, I'm big on weaves, so this natural thing, trying to get used to it. No, um, I've never been at a point where I, I, I wanted another texture. I'm, I've always been okay with my hair. Like, um, I feel like when 
when I'm when I don't know when I'm doing my hair when I, I usually wear like a puff or whatever and um, I feel like I have a decent texture I don't feel like it's good or bad hair I just feel like it's my hair I just like how black hair looks like I can wear my hair straight but I also can wear my hair curly and then I feel like I can do a lot my hair is really strong like I put my hair through a lot of stuff like bleaching and coloring and stuff like that like I haven't worn my hair like black since I chopped it all off and then even after that I I think I dyed it like blonde after it got a little length to it but the only thing I would change about my hair is probably the color because it's so dark I just don't like having my real hair that dark I just like lighter hair but no I like my hair texture I know I love my hair. I'm, I'm starting to embrace it more versus like when I was transitioning. When I was transitioning, I really did hate it. But now I'm, I'm able to wash it and it just curls up. So I think that's good because before I couldn't do that. It was just so nappy. When I needed to do something, it acts, it acts right. Sometimes it doesn't, but it's my hair. So I love my hair. I love my hair. Now I can't say coming from the permed hair to now, I hated my permed hair. Like, I always had to flat iron it. I always had to keep washing it all the time. I always had to keep oil in my hair. With transitioning, I don't have to do any of that. Everybody's like, how you, how your hair grow so fast? I literally do nothing to my hair. I wash it, maybe, maybe do a little oil scalp treatment, maybe once a month. But it's healthy, it's strong. I love my hair. It's, it's just me, it's me.